Greetings, and welcome to the Wayne State University School of Information Sciences. This video will provide prospective students with insights from current students in the Master of Science in Information Management program, covering common questions and first-hand experiences from learning in an online environment. Data has become an extremely valuable resource in the modern workplace, and companies need knowledgeable professionals who can parse, organize, and present data into useful information. At Wayne State University, at the School of Information Sciences, the faculty take great pride in teaching. We've been online for over 10 years, so we have a lot of experience with online teaching, and we've learned some strategies to help students learn in the best way that they can in this online world. And of course, with COVID, we've all experienced some sort of online conferencing, uh, video messaging, and just keeping up with our responsibilities online. But at CIS, we've been doing this much longer than just during COVID. We have in place various systems that help us reach you as a student in the most efficient and effective manner. We all teach differently, of course, but at the end of the day, you're going to pick up the learning outcomes for the course, which are in course profiles when you look at the description. And you're gonna come away with a sense of pride in what you've learned. There are numerous specialized skills a student can pursue in the IM program. You can gain the skills necessary to become a systems administrator by learning about operating systems, servers, and creating a network. An interest in big data can lead you into data mining, data analysis, and business intelligence education. The program includes a specialization in software, offering courses in coding languages like Python, SQL, c -sharp, and VBA. Building personal and business websites is a possibility, as Wayne will teach web design and creation, as well as how to evaluate the user experience of websites. Additionally, the core project management course gives students a chance to explore project planning and execution, which includes Microsoft Office tools, collaboration tips, and strategies for tackling even the most complex projects. I think something Wayne State does very well is to ask students to truly explore their career goals early on in the program, so that way they can go on the right path. Some of your early classes are going to touch on individual aspects of information management to get your feet wet, and you're going to get an opportunity to speak with several information professionals who are currently working in the field, so you'll be able to also develop a network. Another advantage that you're going to have at Wayne State is the library itself has a lot of the library and information science and massive information management textbooks right there for you. So you're not even going to need to buy most of your textbooks if you have to buy any textbooks at all. Some of the classes you just get a PDF and that's what your readings are. So you will save a lot of money just because it's the library program and we own the library. So you're going to get great access to materials and you're going to have a ton of library specific databases and information specific databases which will help you write your term papers. The other thing that the program is going to ask you is how to critically evaluate your information. So you're going to learn how to define it, organize it, and interpret it, and then finally present it. For me, this has really improved my work efficiency and productivity. As well as with classes like the project management course, I was able to gain a better understanding of business as a whole. And so my business acumen, I think, has really improved. Overall, I think every course has helped me in some way, not only in understanding information management, but also currently in my position, every class I take, I learn something that I can apply to, to my current job. At CIS, we teach you about the intersection of society and technology and all that that entails. We teach you the hard skills like to, learning to program, learning to build websites, dynamic websites, uh, administrate databases, server administration, information visualization, and those kind of hard skills. But we also, in our courses, teach you about the theory and the frameworks that are used in these areas of expertise. And these frameworks and theories come from multiple domains, psychology, sociology, economics, business, 
we combine all of that for you so you have a better understanding of how we as humans interact and deal with technology and that's going to put you at a very good place when you go to obtain a job you're going to have your skills but on top of that you're going to have an understanding of how society and technology interacts which is really just about everything we do at this point so you're going to have that mindset when you're working at your job after you graduate of how is this working with our audience how is this working for our consumers or our customers those kind of skills you can't fake you under you will understand what it means and have a deeper understanding of how to integrate what your managers your bosses your CEOs were wanting from their personnel and I think that puts you in a really good place most companies work with large volumes of data and will find themselves in need of an information specialist industries especially in need of information specialists are healthcare government technology data analytics health informatics and education these industries need someone with the knowledge and competence to parse mass amounts of data and deliver it as useful information in the modern age data is being generated at greater levels than ever before. Every company in every industry will have a need for an information specialist, whether you are generating, interpreting, or presenting information. There are plenty of jobs and career paths one can take with skills learned in the IM program. Many career paths are tech focused. Even if you're not super tech savvy, this program will get your feet wet in new technologies and give you the building blocks necessary for the path you want to take. You can aim for a big picture path and work toward a career in project management or content strategy. If you're interested in computers and websites, this program will help you down the path of user experience, software development, or website development. While there are innumerable tech positions out there, an IM degree won't pigeonhole your prospects. A career in records management or as a research consultant requires strong competency in the organization of information, and the SIS offerings are top notch. Some students may have reservations about doing their coursework completely online, so here's a look at the online experience at Wayne State. The School of Information Science has more than a decade of experience teaching primarily online. Learning with a vast array of classmates with different backgrounds and interests allows for networking and informal learning from everyone you interact with. The primary platform for online courses at Wayne is Canvas, the central tool for communicating with professors and classmates, as well as accessing syllabi, posting on discussion boards, submitting assignments, and reviewing grades. A majority of the classes will have group work, there are many collaboration tools you may encounter for class group work, such as for document sharing, Google Docs, OneDrive, or Microsoft Teams, and for conference calling, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Skype, or Discord. An online program means large amounts of flexibility, but that comes along with the need for self-discipline and time management. You can make your class schedule fit with a job or any other life commitments. There aren't lecture times. You can do schoolwork on the weekends only or listen to your lectures on the drive home from work. Here are a few pro tips from current School of Information Science students. Back up your data on the cloud or a secondary storage device. You will need all of your coursework at the end of the program for your portfolio. Check the Wayne State Library for textbooks before purchasing or renting. Many SIS textbooks are offered digitally through the library's catalog. Online courses require self-direction and organization, so keep a schedule and build routines as if you have regular lectures to attend and due dates every week. Keeping organized in your coursework will pay off. Technology is really something that I have no interest or experience in. I have a background in history and I'm a student in the Master of Library and Information Science program. So I entered the program with the expectation that I would be learning collection management softwares and library specific tools, and I have quite a bit. The most technologically advanced course that I've taken was information technology, 
INF 6080, which is a core course in the LIS curriculum. There I learned the basics of HTML and built a website from scratch, something that I had no idea was an element in this program. At the recommendation of my advisor, I enrolled in the project management course. Project management is deemed an essential skill in archives and something that recent graduates in archives wish they learned when they were students in the program. So at that recommendation, I enrolled in the course and have learned the basics of Microsoft Project, which I had no experience with, and the fundamentals of managing projects, time management, human resource management, risk and cost management, all of these elements that I just hadn't considered before. With the increasingly digital direction that LIS is taking, having this fundamental background in HTML and these other technologies is going to be a crucial skill set heading into the workforce. And I'm glad that I branched out and have taken these digital and technological courses while in the library science program. If you're interested in Wayne State, the School of Information Sciences, or the Information Management Program, you can check out sis.wayne.edu for more information, including course descriptions, options for specialization, and details on application and admissions. Come join our Information Warrior family.